Hey guys, my name is Chris Barocci. Welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to show you the brand new Wampler Moxie, which is a sweet little pedal. And it's green for a good reason, but it does a lot more than just a really good screamer type tone. I have to be honest with you, when Demoxie arrived here, I was like, okay, I'm sure I'll dig this pedal. Like, I'm sure it's gonna sound awesome. And uh, Brian probably gave it some really cool extra tonal capabilities and flexibility and everything as usual. Uh, but I was like, what can I actually say about it? Like, I think I'll just shoot like a, a no talking kind of, you know, here are a couple of really cool tones, my favorite tones with the pedal, something like that. And um, then I started fiddling with the uh, settings on the pedal for this intro song you just heard. And I discovered a couple of things. I was really surprised and I was like, okay, that is definitely worth mentioning. So uh, let's get into that. Before we do it though, uh, make sure to hit like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what I'm doing here and check out the description box for my merchandise. If you want to support the channel, timestamps, gear links, and all kinds of additional infos. The Moxie, first of all, runs on 9 to 18 volts. That's already something that changes a lot in the feel and the headroom and the tone of the pedal. So that's already a really cool little tweak on the original Screamer type circuit. <laughs> It still has the 4558 chip, the, the, the chip you want in a, a pedal like this uh, to give you that woody, original, mid-rangey, you know, mid-humpy kind of tone, but it does a lot more. Without being overly complicated, um, it's just two little toggle switches that Brian added, and man, <laughs> like the first one is called voice, and uh, what it does is in its left position, it leaves the EQ curve of the pedal as original as it gets. So that's where you get this uh, low cut, high cut, and really woody and really sweet mid-range that you know, and what we call the screamer type, well, tone or experience. <laughs> If you flick that switch though, to the right, it kind of scoops the tone. And I'm not talking about a, a small adjustment, like a little bit more bass or a little bit more, I don't know, presence. It like literally sounds and feels like it's scooped compared to the left setting, like the original DS uh, style EQ curve. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then there's the right mini toggle, the FAT, which activates a MOSFET clipping stage, really. So if you uh, flick that to the right, you have more of everything. It's like the pedal on steroids. You have more drive, more volume, more fullness, like richness and everything. Um, I was fooling around with all the settings and all of a sudden I was like, man, this is not very far from like a bluesbreaker style tone. I'm talking about like pedals like the Pantheon from Wampler, the um, King of Tone and all these pedals. I found some settings here that were pretty damn close to that kind of experience. And I was like, okay, this is a lot more than just, uh, you know, a nice and tweaked uh, TS type pedal. <laughs> does give you a very accurate TS type tone. But if you fool around with these, it is like a, a completely different pedal. You don't think of a TS type um, experience at all anymore, which makes this pedal so capable in such a small housing. I think we arrived to my, the my thoughts kind of section of this video um, where I have to say this is one of the smallest, one of the best priced and one of the most versatile pedals, like all in all, one of the most impressive pedals that I've came across because of all of this, what I just mentioned. <laughs> It's really powerful and depending on your gig, the song you're playing, you can make this sound radically different without having a million knobs or little hidden switches inside or whatever. Very, very effective and very cool little tweaks that you can get with, uh, with these little toggles. It's a very nice little pedal and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing your opinion on the tones you've heard in this video. Um, yeah, it was really interesting to compare it with the original, my, my reissue uh, Tube Screamer, compare it with like a King of Tone and the Pantheon. It's, uh, some of those are not very obvious <laughs> comparisons. If you just, you know, look at the specs of this pedal, like, yeah, TS style pedal. Why would you ever do that? Well, I don't think they're very far from each other tonally, and even the playing experience feels as reactive and, and dynamic as those pedals, which is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below, and see you in the next video next week. I'll be back. Bye-bye.